Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Life channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how the E39 was well ahead of its time when it was first released in 1996. So for those of you that don't know, this is my 2003 BMW E39 Touring. It's a 525D, which means it's got the 2.5 litre straight six diesel. And I've owned this car for just over six months now. And the E39 Touring has always been a car that has captured my imagination. Um, Apart from the drop dead gorgeous looks, this was the car that was around when I was a kid. It's what my friend's parents had. It's what sort of people strive to. Um, I would have been five years old when this car was rolling off the production line. And I think it looks just as good as the day it left. These have become iconic. They've become um, the sort of quintessential last great BMW. Um, and let's talk about why that is because you know for most people this is just a 20 year old or 21 year old in this case BMW I mean some of these are now 28 years old these cars so let's talk about what makes them so great and why they were so far ahead of their time so like I said when this car came out it was 1996 um, it was a time where cars were just starting to get more and more electronics piled into them um, however it was the time before electronics took over so it's a nice blend of technology and not this car was released with projector headlights um, which are some of the best headlights on the market at the moment and you can also get xenons on these as well which was the first being one of the first BMWs to give you that feature other features included a diesel heater, which is fitted to this car. So when the, um, in the cold, diesels obviously take a while to heat up. You can actually have a diesel heater that will pre-warm and give you hot air straight away. Now this car in particular has the auxiliary ventilation feature, which means you can actually set a time on the diesel heater. The car will pre-warm itself, de-ice itself prior to you getting in it and starting the engine, which is just absolutely genius. Um, this sort of technology proliferates the entire car. I mean, we've got here full, excuse the uh, sandwich wrapper there, full electric seats. We've got sat nav. We've got um, triple zone climate control in this car. We've got absolutely tons and tons of amazing technology. Um, one of my favorite ones, the soft close feature on the boots you just put it to a close like that and it's perfect and i think what bmw were doing with this car is they were creating a car that would do everything these are fantastic to drive these cars they've got um well these ones in particular the six cylinders of um hydraulic steering um which is just absolutely wonderful you get a tremendous amount of feel for it but also you get um a smoothness that's difficult to replicate with the modern day electrical um, steering. You'll notice the rear lights on the back here are LEDs, and this was one of the first BMWs again to use LED lighting. Um, we've obviously got the traditional BMW glass hatch here, um, which is one of my favorite features on this car. Um, it is, yeah, it's just really, really handy. I never ever have to so much stuff that i need to open the whole boot unless i'm putting the dogs in etc so um yeah that's that's something i've never felt i needed um i never felt the the boot itself is something i never feel, feel the need to open all the time so actually i use the glass for chucking stuff in and out other features included um front and rear parking sensors which in 2003 and 1996 was completely un heard of sat nav again was not really a common option and this gave you full mapping using the screen inside we had a six cd changer on these as well um which i've actually replaced with a bluetooth module but let's just take a look at some of the interior features um sort of made this car ahead of its time we had obviously the parking sensors with pdc here got traction control which is really easy to remove um, let's just take a look at this this is just something i love on this car is the fact that you have a tape deck as well so it just sort of shows you the time when this car was coming out of what 
the technology was and what it became. Um, they were still using tape decks. We've obviously got Dolby on this one. And we've got full sat nav, but we've also got free view television in this car. Originally, it would have been analog, but the previous owner updated it to include free view when the changeover happened on the um, TV channels. And again, how many cars nowadays have TV, let alone back in 2003? Another nice feature is the memory seats as well. Um, that is very handy indeed because Mrs. DL and I were constantly swapping cars and this is just one of those things that just makes life very easy. What I like about the E39 is it gives you this classic feeling but a hugely contemporary feel as well. Another iconic thing about the 5 Series, the 39 5 Series, is the amount of airbags BMW introduced. You've got airbags obviously on the dashboard and in the seat. Uh, in the steering wheel we've got dash um, airbags in the doors. Here we've also got them in the seat as well that I'm sat on, um, which, you know, for a car in 2003 was fantastic. Um, rear passengers as well got a lot of leg room. This one in particular has the, excuse the stuff in the back. I've had the dogs and all that stuff usually in the boot. Um, we've got the lovely sun visors here as well that are included and they just roll up and down from the door. Um, but again, E39 blends the sort of classic build quality. We've got nice silver chrome inlays on the inside of the windows. Um, it's just, yeah, it's a lovely, lovely car. This car also features rear air suspension. So once you load it up with items, um, family members, trailers, dogs, whatever you may be putting in or on the back of this car, you get, the car will self-level itself. Um, it's got a compressor and airbag system, um, and they're actually pretty reliable. This car has had two lots of airbags in its lifetime. They normally last around 10 years. So touch wood, these will last um, for as long as I need them anyway. So uh, yeah, I mean, they're just, little features that BMW built in that actually future-proof this car. Um, another one is the, I don't know if you can see it, the parcel shelf with the integrated dog guard. Um, you know, we, we think it's quite new to build in practicality into our cars, but actually these slots here are for you to mount, the, mount it onto the front of the rear seat. So it actually gives you a double load space with a load guard as well um you know these are just things that a lot of us take for granted nowadays but bmw were pioneering them at the time we've got the self-dimming rear view mirror as well and also these were available these mirrors with self-dimming capabilities as well although usually you see them and they failed um another nice thing was the fact that you actually got a full-size spare wheel as the as was the custom at the time um which a lot of cars don't offer now either. Um, but it's just really a fantastic blend of modernity and contemporary technology with the timeless classic look of the 39 I think that is, it's the perfect blend of the two. Um, they're still reliable. You can still drive them every day, yet you get the feeling of driving a modern classic. So, um, yeah, uh, it was a car that was before its time. It's a car that's still relevant now. And I think, you know, is going to be a very, very um, promising proposition moving forward. So uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.